Hey guys, so it is currently almost, okay, almost 12.30 in the afternoon on Monday the 7th. What? What? Okay, why don't you go eat your chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets. Yeah, your chicken nuggets. No, chicken nuggets. I don't know what you're saying, so you're just going to have to hold on a second, okay? Nuggets. America. You want to watch Captain America? No, Captain America. Okay. Captain America. Okay, go eat your chicken nuggets. On TV. In a minute. I'll be in there in a minute. Start eating. Um, so last night I started swatching for the carved pullover, which this is a ginormous swatch. Um, but typically they say when you're making a sweater and if you're knitting in the round, make a swatch in the round. So this is a little over four inches. I'll be there in a minute. I don't have the remote. I'll be in there in a minute. Um, so I swatched for the carved pullover um, to see if I made gauge, which I did not. Of course not. I did not make gauge. Um, but did a little bit of math, figured out which size I should make, even though my gauge is not correct. Um, because technically it calls for a DK weight yarn. Okay. Um, technically it calls for a DK weight yarn and I'm sorry. I am trying to, um, geez. I'm trying to use up stash and unfortunately I do not have a sweater quantity. I know I gave it to him. I do not have a sweater's quantity of DK yarn. Um, so, but I do have a nice big giant ball of, um, oh, what is that? I have the label over here and it, so. I, we ran out of honey mustard, so eat your chicken nuggets with ketchup. You'll be fine. I promise. Um. Oh, I'll call. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, loops and no, not loops and threads. Lion Brand. <laughs> it's like the Lion Brown, Lion Brand pound of yarn, like the big one, in Oxford gray. Yes, bud. I give it. What? Give it. Give what? Give milk. Uh, you took my milk. Oh, you want the lid? Red. Yeah, the lid. Red. Okay. Um, so I have like two giant balls of this that um, I think I'm only going to need one, but we'll see. Um, and it's in worsted weight. So I'm making a smaller size than the one I initially anticipated to make. Um... Did some math, figured out the stitch count I should be making for my gauge, and then found that stitch count on the body. And that is what I'm gonna do. Uh, <laughs> I'm so freaking weird, I'm sorry. So yeah, I um, mentioned this pattern to Lacey, and she was like, we should totally do this together. And I was like, yes, yes, we'll do it. And I know I said I would also do the um, the Ripple Bralette with Christina of the Blissful Stitch podcast, which Lacey has the Hooked on Owls podcast. And I have so fallen behind on that Ripple Bralette. <sighs> because everything seems to be coming first. What? Dad's at work. But I really want this sweater for Halloween for myself, just in case I don't dress up. I still have something Halloween-y to wear, and hopefully it'll be cool enough for me to actually wear it. Because it is going to be a worsted weight sweater. 
Okay, not at work. But it should go pretty quickly because it is a worsted weight sweater and it is a crop sweater with three quarter sleeves. So it shouldn't take me as long as the... What? What about outside? Daddy's at work. He's not outside. Okay, outside. So, yes, I swatched for that, figured out my gauge, figured out what size I should make. So hopefully I will be starting this sweater sometime today. If not today, tomorrow for sure. Um, but this week seems like we're going to be having a very busy week, which mentally I'm not prepared for because I still feel like garbage from eating gluten, which I ended up having chili last night and realized there were breadcrumbs in the spreadable butter. Being gluten-free sucks. <laughs> okay, sorry for the pity party, but sometimes you just gotta do it because you realize that this is a really crappy life when you can't have any wheat. Sucks. Okay, pity party over. So, um, the rest of the day, I know I need to call gymnastics. Uh, this place, gymnastics place that, um, one of the other moms goes to and figure out how much it's going to cost to put Emma in gymnastics because all of a sudden she wants to do gymnastics, which is fine. I've been wanting to put her in something, but I didn't want to put her in something that she wasn't going to like. And then we waste the money of signing her up and getting everything she needed. And then she quits or doesn't want to do it to the point where she's like screaming and crying every time we have to go. So, that being said, I need to call gymnastics. And, yeah. Figure out that expense with, you know, Christmas coming up, Colin's birthday coming up, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Like, oh my gosh. This is the most expensive time of the year. And Emma wants to start gymnastics now. So, yeah. Other than that, I'm not sure what I have to do today because, you know, Mondays are usually my kickback day where most of the time we're just doing schoolwork, which we have that to do too. So yeah, I will see you guys later when I film something else. Bye! Hey guys! So as some of you may know, I do like planning, so I've completely forgot to film myself planning. But here is my planner for the week. So, yes. I currently use a Happy Planner. Hold on, let me get my other hand. I use the Big Happy Planner. This is the one I own. And it has the vertical, yeah, vertical lines. So, this is what it looks like before I add all the stickers because stickers are fun. They are so much fun. And then this is what it looks like after. Oh, Cute. Yes, pumpkins. So we have stuff ah Hi. in here. I, I know it kind of looks bad that I only have one bath time sticker, but I ordered some more because I ran out. Mom. And this one I want to make sure for sure that they get baths Mom. because I see, thank you, please don't write on that. Mm. I want to make sure for sure that I put this down to get bath time on Wednesday because it's park day. Um, so yeah, here is my, my happy planner. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. All right. Bye guys.